in this video I want to go over some basic skills of expanding and simplifying algebraic expression. So let's start with a expanding, expanding and simplifying example. So this is x minus 4 times 3x plus 2. Now there are different ways of doing this and I personally like this method of grid multiplication. So yeah, I've got x minus 4 and x plus 2. So you can write x minus 4 on the top like this, x take away 4, x minus 4, and this is x minus 4, and I'm going to write 3x plus 2 uh, like this. You, can, you could have written this in any order, doesn't matter. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply this two. So this is called the grid multiplication. So I'll write this so that you can see what's happening. So the first thing is 3x times x. What is 3x times x? It's always good to write those who are struggling with basic expanding. So 3x times x is 3x squared. So I'll write inside. Now to go 3x times negative 4. 3x times negative 4 is negative 12x. Okay? And then you have to go 2 times x. So 2 times x is 2x. And 2 times negative 4. 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. It's always good to write and slow down. So yeah, 3x times x. This is how you read it. 3x times x. 3x times x is 3x squared. So you'll just write 3x squared here. Yeah? 3x times 4, negative 4. 3x times negative 4 is, oops, I made a mistake here. It's negative 12x. Okay? So I should write here minus 12x okay okay so let me use the same color why did I change the color okay so this is minus 12x 2 times x this is 2 times x which is plus 2x you can write plus if you want to which is plus 2x and plus 2 times negative 4 is negative 8 Okay, now these two are called like terms. <clears throat> you have to, these are like terms. So let me write that. So if you want to, you have to simplify this. So this is negative 12x plus 2x is minus 10x. You should know these adding uh, integers. So minus 12x plus 2x is minus 10x. So this is the answer. So the answer would be, 3x squared from here, so this is 3x squared. Now this and this simplifies to minus 10x. This is minus 10x, and then you've got to minus 8. So that's all. This is your answer. Okay, and it, it's so easy if you go this way. Okay, I would want you to do this yourself. Okay, you can pause the video and try to do this yourself. Okay, so yeah the same process, I'm going to write x plus 5 like this. doesn't matter, you write in any order. x plus 5 like this, and 2x minus 3 like this. I want to expand, that means we are multiplying. So 2x times, sorry, x times 2x, I'm going to write now directly, which is 2x squared. x times negative 3 is minus 3x. 5 times 2x is 10x. And 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. So your answer, I'll write this out in a different way. So this is 2x squared. Just write this down in this order. So you start from here, minus 3x. And then you write plus 10x. Just write the whole thing out. So this is the answer. But before you write the answer, you have to simplify this. These are like terms. So your answer is 2x squared. Minus, t minus 3 plus 10 is plus 7x. So plus 7x minus 15. So this is your answer. Okay. Uh, I would like you to do this yourself. Okay, so this is something that you can do yourself. Okay, use this skill to do this yourself. Okay. Now the next is simplify fully. Now this is where students struggle. When you have an expression like this, it is simple uh, as adding fractions okay so now if you learned how if you know how to add fractions this is an algebraic fraction 
Now to add fraction, you have to have the common denominator. So the first thing you have to find is the least common denominator or least common multiple, which is 2 times 3, which is 6. So I want to make both the denominators 6. I'm going to write this out again. So 3x over 2 minus, I'll put this in the bracket. It's always good to put this in the bracket. x plus 2 over 3. So I want to make the, both the denominator 6. So I'm going to multiply, to make this 6, you have to think 2 times what is 6? Well, 2 times 3 is 6. I have to multiply this by 3. So it also multiply the top by 3. Now 3 times what is 6? Well, 3 times 2 is 6. So you have to multiply this by 2. It also multiply this by 2. So this whole thing becomes, so this is equal to, this is 3 times 3x, which is 9x over 6 minus, I'll keep the minus out, and this is 2 times x, and you have to multiply 2 times 4. I'm keeping the minus out here. I'm only multiplying with 2, not negative 2. So 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times 2 is 4 over 6. So now the denominators are same. So you can add or subtract the numerator. So this is 9x. I'll keep this in the bracket. It's always good to put in the bracket because this minus is going to do something nasty if you're not careful. Over 6. Just like this. Now open the bracket. So this is 9x. This minus, you imagine this is minus 1. Okay, so you're going to again multiply by negative 1. So negative 1 times 2x is negative 2x. And negative 1 times plus 4 is negative 4. This is where you have to be super careful. Over 6. So this is 9x. Take away 2x is 7x minus 4 over 6. And this is your final answer. Okay, let's move on. This is uh, slightly different, looks different, but yeah, what can we do? So yeah, I have to factorize. I'm going to write this as 3 times x plus 3 times 2 over x plus 2. So this is called factorization. So here you can see 3 is a common factor. 3 is in 3x and 3 is also in 6. So you can factor that 3 out and put the rest in the bracket which is x plus 2 over x plus 2. Now you got x plus 2 in the numerator and x plus 2 in the denominator. So those cancels out. So your final answer is only 3. That's your final answer. Okay. The next question is I want you to do this yourself, and this is your answer. Okay, you can pause the video and try to do this yourself if you can. Okay, the next question is this. The answer is this. I have covered my working. I'll come back. You can pause the video and do this yourself. These are the questions I want you to do yourself. Okay, so yeah, I just want you to look at these questions. Okay, so I haven't done this question. So let's do question number seven. So the same thing, the least common multiple is, just multiply the bottom numbers, which is seven times 10, which is 70. So I want to make both the denominators 70. So this is x over seven. First, let me write the question down, x over 10. So I'm going to multiply this by 10. So it also multiply this by 10. To multiply this by 7, so it also multiply the top by 7. So this becomes 10x over 70 minus 7x over 70, which is 10x minus 7x over 70. So your final answer is 3x over 70, just like that. Okay, so this is your final answer. Okay, again, this is the next question, question number eight. This is question number nine. I got the answer somewhere sitting here. So you got the answer here. 
And I think this is the last question and the answer is sitting here, 7x over 24. So let me go back. Okay, so yeah, we were here. Okay. Now, I hope you've done it. I'll show you my working. So the same thing, you have to find the LCM. First thing is, LCM is 10. So you do the same thing, multiply by 5, multiply by 2. So this is 2x, 5x over 10. And this is where you have, you can do mistakes. So you have to multiply this by x and 2 with 1. That's why it's 2x plus 2. Okay, so this becomes, let me scroll down, so this becomes 5x plus 2x plus 2 over 10, and 5x plus 2x is 7x plus, so let me delete this now, so delete, okay, so the next question is here, I hope you can, you have done it, this is the working, so what I have done is I have expanded this out, so this is 4x cubed, y squared times 4x cubed, y squared and again this expanding this out so this is expanded to like this and this is expanded like this okay and so the next step would be same thing expanding this out so this is grouping the numbers and the letters so this 4 times 4 is 16 this is you have to add the powers when you're multiplying uh, powers or multiple yeah, you have to add the indices when you're multiplying the power so 6 plus 3 plus 3 is 6 and 2 plus 2 is 4 so your final answer is 16 x to the power 6 y to the power 4 okay so let me delete that okay next question is this is your next question and this is the working okay and uh, this is 2x to the power 5 okay Question number six, the same process, but yeah, I've done slightly differently. So what I've done is, this is a power of one, so to multiply power, this is called power of power. So when you've got power of power, you multiply the power. So one times four, two times four, three times four, and so on. So this is, this is simply expanded. This, I have simply expanded this. Okay, so what will happen, the next step, it look like this, 3 to the power 4, a to the power 8, and so on. So you can see, I'll delete this now. So this is your final answer. So I have written 81, 3 to the power 4 is 3 times, 3 to the power 4, for those who don't know, is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. This is, again, 9 times 9 which is 81. That's how I got 81. And 6 times 9, this is 6 times 9, is 54. And then I've grouped the numbers together and the letters together. Okay, now this is 81. I've written as 9 times 9, and 64 is 9 times 6. So 9 gets cancelled. a to the power 8, I've written as a squared times a to the power 6. So the a squared gets cancelled. And b to the power 12 is b to the power 4 times b to the power 8. You can also do directly, so you can take away. In a dividing uh, powers, you take away the indices, and that's how you can do directly like this. This is 8 minus 2, and this is 12 minus 4 is 8. And 3 over 2 becomes 1.5. Okay, so these are... This is question number seven. This is how you do it. Okay, so let me remove the veil for question number eight. Too late. And this is how question number eight. This is question number nine, which is what I wrote, three x squared minus four over four x squared. Okay. And uh, question number nine, it was, this is question number 10 which is 7x over 24. Hopefully these examples are useful and these are the basic skills in algebra.